Nancy Fetzer's Sentence Building. Lesson one, writing a basic sentence. These are the things that you will need. A pencil, a red crayon, and the basic sentence writing organizer number one. We are ready to begin. Let's learn how to write a sentence. In order to write a sentence, we need to have an idea, something to write about. That's because a sentence is a group of words about an idea. Let's watch this idea about a dog. That was fun. Let's write a sentence that tells about this idea. Follow my steps. Have your sentence organizer in front of you. Get into writing position. Sit up tall in your seat, feet flat on the ground, and have a pencil in your hand ready to write. Step one, point with the pencil to the cartoon and ask, who or what is this about? The dog. Go to the planning page and draw a quick picture of the dog in the top left box. Now that's where we put who or what our sentence is about. When you look at the picture we drew on the organizer, you'll notice it's not as nice and pretty as the picture in the idea bubble. That's because we are not doing an art project. We are writing a sentence. So don't worry about your sketches. Just do a quick little sketch. Stick figures are fine because we only want to put a drawing there to remind us what that part of the sentence is about. If you can't draw well, that doesn't matter. If you follow these directions, you will write well. Step two. Go back to the idea and ask, what about the dog? What was the dog doing? The dog ran. Ran. Go back to the planning page. Draw a quick picture of our dog running in the top right box. Great job! Step three, let's point to the boxes and tell a sentence. First, point to the left box. The dog. Point to the right box. Ran. The dog ran. Excellent! That's a complete sentence. It tells exactly what you saw about the dog. The dog ran. Step four. Before we write our sentence on the lines below, we need to learn an important rule. Every sentence starts with a capital and every sentence ends with a stop. Every sentence starts with a capital and every sentence ends with a stop. Capitals are the uppercase or big letters in the alphabet. Remember the rule. Every sentence starts with a capital and ends with a stop. This sentence is a telling sentence. It tells what the dog did. The dog ran. Telling sentences end with a period. Let's point to the planning boxes and say our sentence again. The dog ran. Go back and say the first word of our sentence. The. In the left planning box, Write down the, capital T, H, E, the. Say the whole sentence, the dog ran. Next, go to the right planning page box. Write a period to show that's the end of the sentence. That's the stop. Great job! Editing time for our planner. 
Get out a red crayon. Our red crayon is how we will check that we have a capital and a stop before we write our sentence. Trace the capital T in the first word of our sentence, the. Yay! We have the capital at the start of our sentence. Next, go to the end of our sentence. The dog ran. Trace the period. Yay! We have our period. That tells us where the sentence ends. Step five. Now it's time to write the sentence. You've planned. You've talked. Now it's time to write. Please remember, if you have the skills, then you write it. If you are still learning the skills, then a helper writes it for you. Say the words as you write. The dog ran. Very good. Step six. It's editing time. Time to edit the sentence we've written. Get out a red crayon. Go back and mark the first letter in the sentence. And go to the end and mark the period to check that you have a capital and a stop. Great job! We are ready to read our sentence. The dog ran. Congratulations! You have written a complete sentence. Yay! Pat yourself on the back. You have finished lesson one and are ready to move on to lesson two.